In this video, I will cover the Louvre Museum in Paris, France, to show another way the polytheists preserve their Nephilim history and ancestry. First, I will cover a brief history of the bloodline rulers of France and their place in the history of the beast system, and this will correlate the bloodlines to fallen angel artwork that is being preserved and highlighted in the Louvre Museum. In prior videos, I've talked about the Merovingian bloodline as a Nephilim or fallen angel hybrid bloodline that has been maintained. The Merovingian bloodline dates to King Morovi of the Frankish dynasty, who France is named after. Morovi ruled from 411 to 458 AD, and he was the ancestor of the Merovingian dynasty, which remained in power until 751 AD. Tradition holds that King Morovi's father was a Quinitar or a Siebel. Above all, European royal houses of conspiracy are the Merovingians. The Merovingians are also linked to British Grail dynasties through the lineage of Anna and Joseph of Arimathea. Their genealogy connects Merovingians to the alleged Davidic bloodlines of Israel and the Irish bloodlines of Terra. Arthur and his Merovingian royal cousins who ruled France constituted the famous Sangreal Order of the Round Table. This order was dedicated to the guardians of Grail secrets. The Grail kingship of the Breton bloodline remained loyal and respectful to the French Merovingian dynasty until the Merovingian dynasty collapsed around 751 AD. In these ancient Grail bloodlines, they allege the sons of Jesus, Josephus, and Jesu, via Joseph of Arimathea, created the dynastic line of Arthur and later grafted into the Merovingian dynasty. And then the Carolingian dynasty is a continuation of the Merovingians. Charlemagne of the Carolingian dynasty was crowned Holy Roman Emperor by Pope Leo III and reigned from 748 AD to 814 AD. Charlemagne was the first emperor to reign after the fall of the Roman Empire, his successors being considered as legitimate Roman emperors to Western Europe going forward. Charlemagne is referred to as the father of Europe. The concept of knighthood originated with Charlemagne, with twelve Palladians, which is mirrored with the twelve knights of the round table. This concept of knighthood is frequently covered on this channel as they are the king's guard and help accomplish the Nephilim agenda in all sorts of creative ways nowadays. See my playlist titled Knights of the Crown. So Charlemagne fathered 20 children from his wives and countless children from not his wives. All the King Louis of France come down through Charlemagne, so they are essentially the Merovingian line. That line also rolls down to the King of Jerusalem and the Templar Knights. So now let's look at the Louvre. It's located in the former palace of Philip II of France, who was the son of King Louis VII. He participated in the Third Crusade, traveling to Jerusalem in 1189 AD. So when you look into the Louvre, there are several pieces of art that are highlighted as the pride and joy of that museum, and we will look into them one at a time. First is the Gallery of Apollo, which was designed after the museum was open, long after. It was designed in 1660 for Louis XIV, and Louis XIV was the Sun King, S-U-N, of House Bourbon. And we've talked about the Bourbons in other videos. So Apollo, so this is Gallery of Apollo, and Apollo is the Nephilim son of Zeus, Zeus being a parent god of the Pantheon and the fallen angel and one of the twelve Olympian gods. So think about this for a minute. Why would King Louis XIV, who is supposed to be a Catholic, have created a shrine to a Nephilim, pagan god Apollo built in his palace. And also think about the fact that that was less than 400 years ago. And for that matter, Trump also has a shrine to Apollo in his apartment. And for that matter, NASA also names their missions Apollo. And remember that the Bourbons are common bloodline depicted as vampires in movies. See my playlist titled Bloodliners Depicted as Vampires in Movies. And the Gallery of Apollo is a hall of mirrors 
You also find a hall of mirrors in the Genoa Palace that I covered previously with all the pagan statues. And as we talked before, mirrors are a way to summon spirits. There's also a hall of mirrors in the palace at Versailles. And the French crown jewels are kept in this gallery of Apollo. Second, the artwork that they love to promote at the Louvre is the statue of Nike, the Greek goddess. She has a prominent place here, kind of like the statue of Diana that was made more pubescent by the pervy dude is at the um, Detroit Museum. Anyway, they've got her front and center Nike. And she's also known as the Greek are the winged victory of Samon Thrace because it was found on the Greek island of Samon Thrace in the temple complex sanctuary of the gods, great gods. And this area of Samon Thrace was celebrated throughout ancient Greece for its mystery religion. The identity and nature of the deities venerated at the sanctuary remains largely enigmatic in part because it was taboo to pronounce their names. But the pantheon of the great gods consisted of numerous deities, primarily de predating the arrival of Greek colonists on the island in the 7th century BC and congregating around one central figure, the Great Mother. So they're very proud of this um, particular piece of art. This one they're also proud of. This is Psyche, revived by Cupid's Kiss. And I don't think there's any explanation necessary there. Mona Lisa. Painted by Leonardo da Vinci, described as hypnotic in the most famous painting in the world. The Mona Lisa illusion refers to taking a photo of the painting regardless of the angle. It appears that she's staring right at you. The identity of the model is debated. Officially, the portrait is of Mona Lisa, commissioned by her husband, Francisco del Giocondo from Florence, who was a silk merchant. But records from 1517 say that Mona Lisa was executed for Giuliano de' Medici. And Giuliano de' Medici, of the famous bloodline Medici family, was Order of the Garter and Venetian black nobility. Here is a statue of him, and this was a statue done by Michelangelo, and he has something very disturbing, you know, on his chest there. Okay, so we really don't know, really we don't know who she is. Maybe she's supposed to be Mary Magdalene, but... Leonardo da Vinci was an Italian polymath of the Renaissance. He was a painter, draftsman, engineer, scientist, theorist, sculptor, architect, and humanist. But he was also described as an alchemist, a shaman, and a homosexual. And he's one of the grand master leaders of the Priory of Scion Brotherhood, who fostered the underground Gnostic movement. Reportedly, his young lover and apprentice posed as the subject when he painted John the Baptist, he also painted the Last Supper, but substituted a female for the Apostle John. So he substituted Mary Magdalene in the Last Supper for Apostle John. In the Rex Deus Gnostic Gospel, the Grail is the Sangrail, or royal blood, which secretly represents the Messianic bloodline of Judah. The Priory of Sion and the Arthurian Tales involve Mary Magdalene and Jesus' bloodline descending down through the Merovingian dynasty. And this is what is encoded into the Last Supper painting, the replacement of John with Mary Magdalene in da Vinci's apostate painting. The Mona Lisa was kept at the Palace of Fountainebleau until Louis XIV moved it to Versailles, where it remained until the French Revolution, and then it went on display at the Louvre. The Louvre Pyramid, completed in 1989, it has become a landmark of Paris. It has 666 panes of glass and is surrounded by smaller pyramids. It was commissioned by the President of France at that time. It says the framework evokes at a gigantic scale an ancient atrium 
of the Villa of Pompeii. So why did they choose a pyramid, this pyramid, at the Louvre, as the location for the Da Vinci Code in the iconic movie with Tom Hanks, based on the book written by Dan Brown? Because the book is about a battle between the Priory of Sion and Opus Dei over the possibility of Jesus Christ and Mary Magdalene having had children together. So the central point is that the Merovingian kings of France were descended from the bloodline of Jesus and Mary Magdalene. The Da Vinci Code provoked popular interest and speculation concerning the Holy Grail legend and Mary Magdalene's role in the history of Christianity. Dan Brown the author of The Da Vinci Code, attended school at the University of Seville in Spain, founded under the name of Colegio Santa Maria de Jesus in 1505. Its affiliation is Pegasus, which stands for Partnership of a European Group of Aeronautics and Space Universities. Dan Brown graduated from Amherst College. It's a liberal Burl Arts College in the States, named for Lord Amherst. And Lord Amherst is Most Honorable Order of the Bath. British Army Officer, Commander-in-Chief of the Forces of British Army, credited as the architect of Britain's successful campaign to conquer the territory of New France during the Seven Years' War. Also the first British Governor General in the territories that eventually became Canada. Numerous places and streets are named after him in Canada and the U.S. So I hope all of this shows how the polytheists preserve their Nephilim history and ancestry through not only literature and movies by people educated at their royal colleges, but also through museums and artwork. Thanks for listening.